In this video, I'll show you how to apply the spin animation to a half circle in PowerPoint 2016. Stay tuned and we'll get started. To get started, on a blank slide, select the circle hollow shape. Holding the shift key, drag a circle like such. Adjust the width of it. Next, duplicate the shape by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard and place it right above the other. Next, holding down the shift, Ctrl and alt keys, drag one end of the circle to enlarge it, like so. Next, select both shapes, click on Format, click on Shape Outline, and select No Outline. Next, with the shape still selected, holding down the Control key, drag a copy, like so. Next, we will change the color of the outer circle on both copies by selecting them, clicking Format, then Shape Fill and changing their color. Next, we will select both shapes and we will align them to the center, like so. Next, select the rectangle shape and draw a rectangle covering the inner circle like such. Next, select the inner circle first. Holding down control key, select the rectangle clicking on Format, then Merge Shapes, and Subtract. We will repeat this process for the outer circle, like so. With that done, next, I will place the orange circle above its half circle, like such. Next, I will click Shape Fill and select No Fill. Next, holding the control key, I will select both orange circles and go to group and select group. I will repeat this process for the blue circle. Next, with the inner circle selected, click the Animation tab, Add Animation, and select the Spin option. Next, we will duplicate this animation by clicking the inner circle, clicking on Animation Painter, and clicking on the outer circle. With that done, click on the down arrow in the Animation pane, and select Effect Options. Under Amount, change it to Counterclockwise. Click the Timing tab and change the duration to 1 second. And under Start, change it 
to start with previous. Finally, we will click the down arrow for the other animation and go to Effect Options. And clicking on the Timing tab, we will change the duration to one second. And we are done. Next, we will click on Slideshow to preview the animation. There you have it. I hope you found this helpful. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's it for this video. I'll see you next time.